Hello, I'm Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur, and I have been honored to host the Congressional Arts Competition sponsored by the U.S. House of Representatives for many years. Welcome to our virtual art reception. Thousands of students' artwork have been on display in our competition throughout the years, traveling Ohio's northern coast, and I've witnessed the unparalleled talent our young artists offer along with the caring guidance and nurturing by their educators and parents. Unfortunately, I've also witnessed some artists abandon the thought of pursuing a life in the arts for fear that their talent would not lead to an economically viable career. For over 10 years, we have partnered with local businesses to incorporate art into a surface design component and to develop an art to market component of this exhibition. Student artwork has been created on glassware, on paper coffee cups, and even featured at Art Loop walk stops. The motivation behind these partnerships is twofold. One, to highlight student artwork, demonstrating how a two-dimensional piece can become a three-dimensional, functional, practical piece. And number two, to increase the awareness of the arts in the marketplace, while promoting small businesses at the same time. As many school art programs often are the first in the budget to receive cuts, citing them as extras, we know the arts are key economic and social drivers for our community. In a time when much focus is on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, I prefer STEAM, putting arts right in the middle, because of the inclusion of the arts as it is integral for growth and development. At this time, I have the pleasure of announcing the winners of the 2021 competition in the congressional portion of the exhibition, we are awarding two runners-up. They will be awarded $100 each from an award I personally sponsor, and their artwork will hang in two of our district offices in Ohio. Please help me congratulate our first runner-up, Ireland Bennett, for the piece, Jimi Hendrix. Ireland attends Perkins High School in Sandusky, Ohio, and the art instructor is Michael Boglass. Congratulations, Ireland. Our other runner-up is Sadie Tabor for the piece Goddess. Sadie attends Lakewood High School in Lakewood, Ohio, and the art instructor is Dana Hansen. Congratulations, Sadie. Please help me congratulate our overall congressional winner, this student will receive a $150 award that I personally sponsor and will be awarded two round-trip airline tickets to Washington, D.C. to attend the exhibition at the Capitol later this year. The winning artwork will also be on display for the thousands of visitors who visit the Capitol each year. Our winner for the 9th District 2021 Congressional Arts Competition is Nora Lee for the piece, Uneaten Pomegranate. Nora attends Maumee Valley Country Day School in Toledo, Ohio, and the art instructor is Kristen Kowalski. Congratulations, Nora. In addition to the congressional winners, I am pleased to announce our 2021 Art to Market winners. The Sophia Cantero Arts and Cultural Center Award goes to Brooklyn Wilson for the piece, Strawberry Fields. Brooklyn attends Perkins High School in Sandusky, Ohio, and the art instructor is Michael Boglass. The Alice Louise Press Award goes to Rosie Lipka for the piece Watercolor of Flowers. Rosie attends Lakewood High School in Lakewood, Ohio, and the art instructor is Arlene O'Lear. The Toledo Dope Award goes to Isabel Smith for the piece Drained and Dissolved, Isabel attends Notre Dame Academy in Toledo, Ohio, and the art instructor is Susan Kozal. Art is all around us, whether in scarves, wallpaper, car seat design, greeting cards, everywhere. One should never abandon his or her calling. Instead, one should find ways to incorporate it in their lives to lifelong enjoyment. As Pablo Picasso once said, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. Thank you to all of our participants this year. We recognize the difficult nature of the way we must do things just now, but we hope this video finds you and your families healthy 
and safe. We hope to join you in person next year, and thank you for your support of the arts. <laughs>